So this is the third video for Firebase series. Last video we went over the tour of Firebase. In this video we're gonna learn how to log things. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you what I added to our original app, which is new server test. And we see we added some stuff in main.storyboard. We see name and test, stuff like that. Text, and we also have a log button, which is for logging the text to Firebase. So what we've got here is we're, we've imported all the stuff we need. And we actually, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. The only fun, this function is just useless, but we just have it there. But here we're, we, have, we have two text fields, name field and info field. And then we have a database reference. Now, what what what's the database? So we went over a data we went over database in the tour last video. If we go back here, firebase.google.com, and I show you my app. It's loading. Okay, so let's open that, this one, in Aladix, we see a database. So database is used for storing small bits of information, like, like a string. And so what we have here is whenever we press the log button, we set a variable for the name to a string, which is name field.txt, and the text to info, info field.txt. And then when we press the button, they become nothing. And we also set the database to our actual reference, and then we create the values like reference child users child dot dot child name. And I'm gonna add another aspect to this. So let name num or let be U U I D equal zero or var U U I D in fact we're going to go ahead and paste that right here. And what we're gonna say is we're gonna put U U I D equals UUID plus one. So every time we press that button, it's gonna add one to UUID. And then essentially what we're gonna do here is instead remove that and replace it with UUID. Simp that to UUID. Okay, so let's run this. Oh, okay. Here. Let's just do that and that. And then we will also add this. So this thing can become a string. And let's run that. That works. So what we're doing here is we're setting the child to the UID and the username and the text to text. See, we got a bunch of stuff printed here. That's because of the database loading. So I'm gonna set my name to something random and then something else. And when I press log, Let's go back to, let's go back here. And we see we got a description. That's one, users one. So, so what we got here was, here let's put a space and then put our name.
So we'll, that we'll do is just mark it, mark, mark the number for us. And what we we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that and delete that. Okay, let's run that again. Okay, again, we're gonna put in something like, hi, hello, world, and it's gonna be, what is that? Whatever it is. And then press log, go back here, one, what is that? One, hello world. So essentially what this is doing is we're logging number one. So this these two correspond to each other. And and then we're basically so we so that we have a number in front that that way we know which number we have. So let's go ahead and I'm I'm going to change this up a little. We're gonna add another field in to be age at IB outlet var age UI text field and let age equals int uh, int age dot text And well, I will put that unwrap, force unwrap thing right there. And then age field dot text equals nothing. And then we're going to copy this line. And here I'm going to change this to text, and this will be H. That will be H, and that will be H. So let's go ahead and run that again. And as usual, we're going to delete that and that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go to simulator. We forgot one thing. That is to add the H field. <laughs> common mistake. I mean, common like forget, forget thing. Happens all the time. But as usual, we can just always add it in. H and then this has to be a number pad and let's link that up as usual age field and then what we're gonna do is reset that so that it gets constraints okay I accidentally quit Xcode but it's always fine So we've got that down and let's run that. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna have three fields, which is a good thing. More data, more information about your user. Okay, let's put in GF and text is I am a duck <laughs> and then at my age is like 20 I press log and I go back to Google and I get this stuff and we get this right here now what is that this is optional 20 now this means that 
what we're essentially saying is 20 isn't optional. That means it was unwrapped from a string. So let's just say that is, let's just set that to that. Okay, so what we can do is search up how to fix that error. So optional, optional error. So wrap. So we see here that let's find this thing. So we see that let's find it. So let's see. But But we, we, we don't have to do that. Since it's already going to be like that, then we can just always run it like that. Because it's always going to be a number pad, so we can just change that directly to a string. No worries. Uh, something. Sure. And then text is high. Age is one, some random number. Press log. And then I go back to Google. And I go to console. I go here. We see, we get that. Um, that. And that. And let's actually here. We see that the one keeps on showing up. So let's cut that. And let's put it there. Because it's, we saw before this was not highlighted green. Hopefully that will help. Duck. High ages. Some random number that's too, too old to be true. And then that's so we still see that one you know what we don't need that because I think with that it just does not not want to work Open that. Let's go a um, high, high, um, a number. And we press log and we go back to here and we get high and that. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it because I, I love Firebase. Well, just getting started with it because. Parse is closing down as I told you in the first video. So we're going to have to use Firebase for like database apps. If you're going to make something like a social media app, you're going to have to use Firebase instead of Parse. Because, in fact, I still have this Parse thing right here. So let's go back. And go to Parse.
part. Let's log out first. Um, see? We see it's closing soon. So, bye!